Please introduce yourself to the Cointelegraph world and tell them what you do. Will do. My name is Dan Bates. I have a company called Impact PPA. We do renewable energy all over the world, specifically to developing nations. So we're bringing light to people who either have never had it or they have been without it, like what we're doing in Haiti. Okay, and how are you bringing, how are these systems developed? Is it very rudimentary or are these complex systems on the ground? Simple, it's wind and solar, mm -hmm. it could be hydro, it could be anything. Okay. People need energy. Right. Energy gives rise to education, mm -hmm. it gives rise to a better quality of life, right? So it doesn't matter what it is, we've gotta figure out what that solution needs to be mm -hmm. for that community, for that person, mm -hmm. and then al and allow that to be developed okay. with consensus from the community, from the blockchain, community and then we manage that energy generation and allow people to now pay as you go basically okay. all done on the blockchain so I'm, I'm curious about that I've, uh, I've, I've done research in Laos, Uganda, Tanzania, Ethiopia yeah emerging uh, nations and uh, I'm, the challenge that I've found how do you distribute when you consume when you, when you when you receive this energy from a solar installation how are you managing the consumption and the distribution of that energy and in, in these remote areas? Right. Right. It's, it's a challenge. Yeah. Okay. A lot of times we go into a community that doesn't have anything. So we might do distributed installations mm -hmm. in on rooftops, okay. on backyards, whatever it might be. But typically more and more what we're doing is microgrids. Mm -hmm. You know, for instance, I'm finishing up a project in Haiti. Okay. They got hit really hard in 2016 by Hurricane Matthew. Mm -hmm. Two and a half years later, they're still without power. So we put 150 kilowatts or so on the ground, mm -hmm. connecting to a grid that used to exist hmm. before the hurricane. Okay. So we're using those lines and then we're connecting to smart meters that we put on the home, we put on the business, okay. wherever it might be, that smart meter then controls the flow of energy. So someone could buy power on their cell phone now. Really? As they need it. They have a little app, very simple to use. You buy power a day, a week, a month. Uh, what, if you don't mind, if you can speak to this, what uh, platforms are you using to power this back end? So uh, are you using Ethereum? Ethereum. Ethereum. Right now we're on Ethereum. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. fantastic. Yeah. And, and it's working. Okay, how are you tokenizing? How are you, how to explain to me the actual model, the economy sure. model, and at the end of the day, is it being distributed back into the community? Mm -hmm. So you just walk me through that. If you All right, mind. so we've got a token model, we call it the MPAC. Of course, our company name is MPAC PPA, so we call the token the MPAQ, mm -hmm. the MPAC. That is a value token that we distribute to the token purchasers, okay. people who want to do good, who want to, you know, support projects all over the world. They believe that there will be value in the impact token in the long run. Okay. So that is what is used to finance projects. Mm -hmm. And then in the market, wherever we might be, whether it's Afri throughout Africa or Latin America, mm -hmm. Caribbean, India, we then distribute what we call a gen token, okay. the okay. gen That's credit. Okay. So somebody buys it with fiat. It's like a, it's like a burner, right? Okay. You need more data, you need more minutes on your phone, you just scratch it off and you put in the code, right? Okay. Same kind of model, but now it's for electricity. Okay. Are you familiar with M-Pesa? Uh, absolutely familiar with M-Pesa. Decentralized M-Pesa for electricity. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. Really, really. So will you have a central hub as essentially has M-Pesa this for our followers in M-Pesa? Um, they created basically, an, I, would, I would say it's an off-the-grid banking system. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, right? And uh, so I love the off-the-grid uh, mm -hmm. the platform. Is there a way that the local economy um, can benefit um, from these tokens if they, if they incorporate mining facility, let's say, somehow? Well, yes. Mm -hmm. The easy answer is yes. The difficult answer is how we're going to do that logistically, right? right. If you're going to go into a rural community in India mm -hmm. and try and teach them to become miners, it might be a little challenging, yes. right? But the gen token will be distributed to those who need it, who need power. How are you qualifying someone who needs power where sometimes they may want to take on the power themselves and distribute it. Well, what we're doing is we're making, we're trying to democratize energy, okay? So it would be in their incentive to move gen token than try and recreate the wheel. That's what we're doing. Right, right. And that empowers people, right? There will be people out there who are, call it marketing 
the gen token, who are out there moving that token around Educating to the, others. The, the consumers right. on exactly how they can. And we expect them to be trading it. This could be, this can be an energy currency. Are you finding that the education uh, in some of the emerging uh, nations we spoke about um, needs to be amplified to, the, to, meet, to meet the blockchain and crypto standards as we're moving so quickly? Um, they are not gonna know that there's a blockchain backend hmm. as we get this going. They see a simple app on their phone right. that says, I need power, this is the address of my smart meter and it's very simple because okay. I can't expect people who are who have no education no formal education to say I, I'm gonna be a crypto trader now right. that's right. not gonna happen that's a non-starter for all these guys right so we'll just have a very simple app they press a button they hit go mm -hmm. they get power okay okay it's pretty interesting no we had uh, I don't know if you we were just on a uh, speaking in another panel and uh, inclusion seem to be an interesting topic and mm -hmm. accountability. Mm -hmm. Folks are saying that just because blockchain is, makes it transparent, it doesn't make it, the byproduct is not always truth. Mm -hmm. How are you mitigating the challenges on the ground with these, these countries and their perception of outside influences coming in and saying they will help, but they're not being held accountable? Okay, so that was the core of this whole idea, right? I've done work in the renewable energy industry for the last 10 years, and I work in developing worlds. That means there's boots on the ground in Ghana and Kenya and India and places that are underserved, right? They are not going to get a solar farm. The World Bank ain't gonna fund it. Or if they are, and maybe they will, it takes years to get that through that process. So my original concept, the company concept was, let's change that model. Let's democratize project finance. So people who have the ability to do good have now have a voice in what happens in the world. That puts stuff, renewables, you know, it could be cold storage mm. for food, right? We're doing a project now where we're going to basically light up a fish packing facility that's been dark for two and a half years. Okay. And all of those people in the community will now have a job again Fantastic. because they had no way to keep the fish cold. Fantastic. So they shut it down. So in 2018, let the Cointelegraph audience know your low end prediction and your craziest prediction for blockchain and, and crypto? Ah, wow, that's yeah. a tough one. All right, so the low end is that, and I don't want to sound disparaging at all, that we keep continuing to talk. Mm. That's okay. the low end. Okay. The high end is let's get these projects launched, let's just stop talking right. and go do it. Okay. That's right. what I'm doing. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time to make with us. My pleasure, man. Enjoy Thank the day, you. Man. Thank you.